Hey everybody, today I got an EV charger review for you. This is from Pion Power. It's a smart level 2 40 amp EV charger that is portable and has some really nice features. And we're going to test it out with my Kia EV6. Now, if you haven't heard of Pion Power before, you're probably not alone. I personally had not heard of them either, but they're based out of Canada and they offer uh, different electric type solutions out there like home battery solutions, commercial solutions, portable power stations, that kind of thing. And they also have EV chargers. Today we're going to be taking a look at their Flex AC Elite style EV charger. And initially it looks pretty good. It's a smart 40 amp plug-in style EV charger that can also double as a home charger as well as a portable charger. So it includes both 240 volt and 120 volt plugs for convenience as well as a case to carry it. And being that it's a smart charger, it does come with an app that you can use to see all of the adjustments that you wanna see, all the basic information, and it integrates with their EV charger and their home battery systems with them adding more products in the future under this same app. And if you are in Canada, you could qualify for an incentive under the Canada Clean Fuel Policy, which is integrated by Pion Power and allows you to receive $100 cash back for every thousand kilowatt hours charged. So that's always good. Now, one of the most important things I look for when I'm reviewing an EV charger is a safety certification. So in the USA, we have UL, Europe has ETL, Canada has CSA. That way we know it's been tested to be safe to use using independent testing methods and objective safety standards. This particular unit is CSA certified and does conform to UL safety standards. And it also is Energy Star certified too. So that's great to see. It also has a rugged design. They say it's able to survive a three foot drop and withstand a 4,000 pound vehicle rolling over it. Now looking at the components up close, it does have the typical portable EV charger design. And again, it does have the separate 240 volt and 120 volt input cables. This does have eight gauge wiring on the 240 volt cable here, as well as the main cables, which is good to see. Some other EV chargers use nine or 10 gauge wiring. And the NEMA 1450 plug does look good. The 120 volt one looks good as well, just much thinner since it's only 120 volts and a lot less amperage. Looking at the unit itself, it does have a rubberized material on the outside of it, so it does feel like it would handle a drop fine. You can see some of the specifications on the back here. And yeah, it feels good. The connector is a hard plastic material and it does feel good. It doesn't feel as cheap as some other EV chargers I've tested. Looking inside the J1772 connector, the pins look fine. And yeah, it feels pretty good. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see how it does. All right, I got it set up. I'll go ahead and plug it into my car. It's a good connection. And the car said charging has started. Coming back and looking at the controller, I don't really see any indication that it's charging which would be nice to have something that has a visual confirmation there. Coming around inside the car, we are getting nine and a half kilowatts, which is around what I'd expect to see from a 40 amp charger. So that's good. The car is getting right at 40 amps. And we'll go ahead and watch that AC inlet temperature to see how hot that gets. Some EGMP vehicles have had charge ports overheat in the past and then they throttle speed. So we'll go ahead and keep an eye on that. But yeah, it's going strong. Take a look at the temperatures here. We're showing in the 70s and 80s, it looks like. Showing mid 90s at the connector. It is sunny out, so that may play a part here but we'll see how those temperatures change while it charges. And while it does charge, I'll go ahead and show you guys the app. You can download it from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store, and it's easy to get it set up and connected. There's a few different settings you can change and you can adjust the current and the charge duration, do scheduled charging, that sort of thing. Now it's been charging a little over an hour and you guys can see what it shows here. Still going strong. 
11.2 kilowatt hours charged so far. Now coming inside the car, it is still charging at about nine and a half kilowatts, which is good. The AC and the temperature is not hot at all, which is good to see. If it gets to around 220 degrees, that's when it throttles speeds and we're nowhere close to that. But yeah, still working well. Checking the temperatures here. The plug in the sun is up to 144 degrees, which is warmer than I would like to see, but like I said, it is soaking up the sun, so I'm sure that's playing a part. Temperatures of the connector haven't really changed much at all, right around 100 degrees, so that's good. But yeah, overall it's working well. As for pricing, I'll post a link in the description, but it's actually very competitively priced for what you get. Typically it's $360, but if you use promo code TECHJEFF, it drops it all the way down to only $250. And that's pretty good for a smart 40 amp level 2 EV charger that doubles as a home and portable charger has the 240 volt as well as the 120 volt cables, has the safety certification, and it does come with a two year warranty as well. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. And let me know if you have any questions on it. And if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I have a lot coming. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.